Good morning. In this video, we are going to see how to correctly balance the boom of a barrier and how to do the electronic programming of the stroke. After positioning and fixing the barrier cabinet to the ground, and after mounting the aluminium boom, we will install the spring chosen according to the length of the boom. Before proceeding with balancing, we will check that the mechanical closing and opening limit switches have been adjusted so that the bum is 19 degrees when open and 0 degrees when closed. We start by placing the boom in a vertical position and locking it with the key release mechanism. In this way, we will ensure that the boom doesn't not fall out well while we perform the operations. The spring must be positioned inside the cabinet by hooking it on the top of the gear motor and on the bottom of the cabinet with the grommet tie rod. The spring will be loaded by screwing the nut of the grommet tie rod. To check if the spring has been correctly loaded, unlock the boom using the key and lower it manually until it's completely closed, 0 degrees. When releasing the boom, it will have to raise itself and stay at about 45 degrees. If not so, the spring load must be modified. Screwing the nut if the rod doesn't reach 45 degrees or unscrewing the nut if the angle is higher than 45 degrees. Before acting on the lower nut, the boom must be reblocked in a vertical position, 19 degrees, in order to operate safely. To verify the balance, we repeat the unlocking operation and check that the boom stops at 45 degrees. After powering up the electrical panel of the barrier, we proceed with the programming of the stroke by pressing for 5 seconds the PROG key and starting the memory procedure. The boom will slowly perform an opening to find the maximum limit switch point and a closing immediately after, always slowly to find the minimum limit switch point when closing. This will be followed by a full faster automatic cycle of opening and closing. With the last cycle at normal speed, the programming operations are completed and eventually the automatic reclosing time could be adjusted. 